YouTube, it's Chris. Welcome back to the channel. I have a Windows 10 optimization fast track for you guys. You guys are gonna love this. I've spent a long, long time in the making of this and I've made it a simple and easy pain-free method for you guys. You're gonna love it. I apologize about the big file size. But it's the only way to make this fast tracked and easy as possible. Imagine installing Windows, right? Having an ISO file and only needing to follow 12 steps. That's what we're looking at here. So your game launches are all there. Everything's there. Even Google Chrome, everything. 7-zip, notepad, everything, all right? Power plan will be done. Time and resolution will be done for you. All control panel settings, all immersive control panel settings. Everything in the name of performance, absolutely done for you and everything, okay? So sharing ISO files has always been a little bit of a gray area and I've been very reluctant to do that on YouTube. But it's time to take that step. If Microsoft has an issue with it, that's fine. I'll take it down because I'm also doing another video following up to this. So I'll be doing an 11, Windows 11 video after this. And I'll also be doing a video on showing how I made it and the files to make it so you guys can make it for yourself, modify it in any way, shape or form you like. So if Microsoft wants me to take it down or they're not happy with it, that's fine. People can follow the other video and make it for themselves. So guys, in saying that, go to the Mega NZ. There'll be a link in the description. You can go ahead and download it. Now guys, I appreciate it if you would hit that sub button and the notification button. And if you guys feel generous, please give me a little bit of a donation. It'll help me out a lot because I actually had to pay Mega NZ so the servers wouldn't get throttled when you guys download. So technically you guys can use my bandwidth to download through Mega NZ. This was sort of the only way. I know these file sizes are really big. The 10 final is about a nine gig. The 11 final is about 8.8 .8 gigs. So it's really, really large and I get that, but it's the only way to make this incredibly fast tracked. Once you guys have downloaded the ISO file, go ahead and follow one of these videos. I've shown different methods on how to install Windows. I'm not going to be covering that here. Let's get stuck straight into it. So guys, I've made my bootable media. First step before we go ahead and do the install, there's a pre-install folder you can open. Go ahead and open that. Don't get confused. Everything's ready to go. Here's a shortcut. Check for BIOS update. You can press Control C on there and then open the next shortcut and then you can press Control V on here. Okay, go ahead, download your BIOS file. Put it on your USB stick or your hard drive or whatever and go update BIOS, redo your overclocks if you need to, especially if you're on first release BIOS, I don't want you to get off that. Okay, here's another quick step. Just check that your graphics card is all good. So check that you know, you're in the right configuration. It's in the top slot, uh, you're in 16 times and 4.0. You've got resizable bar on, great, good to go. Check your RAM channels, make sure in slots two and four, if you've got two sticks, make sure XMP is on, make sure everything's stable and safe. This is really important. I want Windows to be, I want your PC especially CPU and RAM config to be completely stable and safe because there's nothing worse than doing a fresh Windows install and something not being right, like a faulty RAM stick or something like that, CPU overheating, which will corrupt the Windows system files. It's going to make everything not nice. I've seen it happen plenty of times before. Open hardware info. Go ahead and run Prime95 for a little bit. Make sure you're getting no errors and you know the CPU isn't overheating or anything like that. I've covered this in other videos. You guys get the point. It's to save time. And then separately, go ahead and run the RAM stress test. So run this. Then you click load config and exit. It's the absolute config that we want to run. So we open that and then you can close it out and then you open it again as administrator. And this is going to run the config. So this RAM stress usually takes two to three hours just to make sure your RAM is stable. You guys don't have to do this step, these steps, if you think your PC is stable, but I just want to make sure you need to know that your PC is stable before you go ahead and reinstall Windows and get all the optimizations done because stability is the most important thing. All right, now we're going to reinstall Windows. There is a auto unattended file. So we'll skip a lot of steps here. It is going to install Windows 10 Pro guys, just so you know, but there's no really work around it. So if you need to buy a key, I've got this affiliate link down in the description below. You can get a Windows 10 Pro key for about 10 bucks or so. It's not much. Um, either all, we're ready to go. So let's install the Windows. It should be the only screen that you'll actually see in through the install process. A lot of stuff is bypassed to save time. So it's super, super nice. So after you've done this step, you should basically reboot a few times and see the desktop straight away. Now when you're going through this step, I would recommend unplugging the Ethernet cable. Reason being, I don't want Windows Update to install a random, um, you know, in, uh, graphics driver. And then it kind of gets a little bit messy when you go ahead and install your own driver. So ideally, unplug the Ethernet cable now and plug it back in after we've installed our graphics driver. All right, so we see the desktop. Pretty damn simple. Go to the yellow folder on the taskbar, okay? Go to this PC and then go to C drive. And then all the files are here that we need. So keep your Ethernet cable unplugged for now or don't connect to Wi-Fi, just wait. Go to installers folder. I have everything here for you guys and you're gonna love it. A lot of these are silent installs, which means when you double click on them, it's gonna install in the background silently. Just to be safe, what I want you guys to do is go to task manager, control shift escape. Okay, then go ahead more details and just keep this open here. 
Reason being is because these are sign installs. So this install the C++ packages, double click that. It's going to do it silently and automate it. So just wait. What I like to do is go to task manager and just check. And I'll click on that and wait for that to disappear. They're all installed, ready to go. That's done. Now I'm going to install DirectX. Same thing again. It's a silent install. Click it, leave it. I'll go find it in task manager. Wait for that to disappear. And it's done. Okay, that's done. If you want to ever extract files or anything like that, 7-Zip's recommended. So just double click that and it's installed in a few seconds. Now a bunch of these are silent installs, like I said. So we'll go ahead and we'll install Google Chrome. What you guys are going to love about this install is later on, there's a bunch of stuff that's already going to be done. So Chrome, hardware acceleration and boot on startups going to be disabled. Same with Microsoft Edge. Windows Store updates are going to be off. All control panel settings, immersive control panel settings are going to be done. Spotify, hardware acceleration and boot on start is going to be off. Same with Discord. You're going to love that. I've already got you install OBS or Streamlabs now, that's great because then there'll be a pre-applied config that will be applied for you guys on basic recommended settings for streaming. But it'll be all automated and ready done, ready uh, to be done for you guys. You will love it. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about game launcher settings because they're tied to different IDs, but that is what it is. You'll have to do that yourself. Just pick and choose, go through what you want, and then you're good to go. Once you've done that, I want you to go back and go to optimization. So let's start with number one. Only 12 steps to do guys, only 12 steps, super simple and easy. Go to install Ethernet drivers, go to device manager, okay, and find either your Ethernet driver or maybe you'll have something that's not installed yet, Ethernet driver, so go ahead and you can click update driver, okay, browse, browse, then scroll down, go to C drive, go to optimization, go to installers, go to internet drivers, and okay, so that's the directory we need to find. You can update your existing driver, I've grabbed all the latest ones for all Ethernet drivers, and if you're one of the unlucky ones that have one of those brand new motherboards that is using one of these, you can just install that manually, and that's done. So that's great. I've finished updating my Ethernet driver. Away I go. So next step is to go ahead and install your graphics driver. So go ahead and follow the prompts. Up to you whether you want to use GeForce Experience or not. You can select that, and with AMD driver, up to you whether you want to use minimal install or the full install. Up to you. Totally up to you. Installation is pretty basic. I'm just going to go minimum install. That's all I need to do. So as you can see here, guys, all the files are ready to go for you. All good. Now, I have the rec latest recommended AMD driver ready to go in here. And with the NVIDIA driver, I have the third newest one. Some of the new ones with the five at the beginning of it. A little bit buggy. So I've just gone with the one that's safe and stable all around for all games. You guys can update driver layer if you want. But at least you're on the latest and greatest one that's actually safe for all titles. Okay, now that my capture card stopped playing up, let's um, continue on. So once we've done that and we've installed the driver, okay, pretty damn straightforward. Same for NVIDIA, up to you guys. So what I want you to do is go ahead and plug in your Ethernet cable now. Totally safe to plug it in and then go ahead and follow the prompt to do all your updates. So go ahead and press check for updates, update completely. You might need to restart a couple of times, come back in and check. Just do all the updates and then I want you to pause them for as long as possible. Once you've done that, I want you to go to the activation tab. Now, I haven't bothered plugging in the Ethernet cable because there's no point for me to do this video to show you guys. Go ahead and you'd enter your key here. All right. As you can see, I haven't connected the internet yet, but go ahead and enter your key. There's an affiliate link down below in the description. If you guys want to get a key, I'd appreciate the support. Anyway, continuing on, go ahead and set your time, language, and region. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to set mine. I'm in the down underland. Okay. Um, and then press sync now, really straightforward. Then go ahead to post install. This one, spent a lot of time on it. You guys are gonna love it. Just double click this, okay? As you can see, it's disabled hibernate. Now you press a key. So just press space, okay? It's gonna install the power plan. That's already gonna be done. And all the other power plans are gonna be deleted. You guys will love it, okay? It's gonna import NVIDIA settings. Because I have an AMD card, you have a little error message. No big deal. So all your managed 3D settings are gonna be done for NVIDIA for you guys already. So you guys that have an NVIDIA card. Okay, now I have to press any key again. Now it's going to install timer resolution service. You guys don't need intelligent standby list clean or anything like that. This is going to install the service for you guys here that will uh, constantly be running and enforcing max timer resolution. Just to show you guys, okay, power plan is already done. Super e easy, simple, and amazing. Anyway, let's continue on. Now I have to press any uh, key again. So now it's going to rebuild performance counters. This is something that I recommend and like to do. You don't have to do it, um, should never have to do it ever again. And next one, it's going to import registry keys. So don't freak out. This is going to apply a bunch of control panel settings, immersive control panel settings. 
It's going to unpin everything from the taskbar, clean everything up. You're going to love it. Just press yes and OK. OK, now that's applied and we press the key again. It's going to transfer some user files. So config for Discord, Spotify, a bunch of other stuff, OBS, Streamlabs, a bunch of other stuff that it's kind of going to be already done for you guys. I'm sure you guys will appreciate that and press any key again. Now, the debloat script. This is going to take some time. This might look a little bit buggy. My Windows 11 one is a little bit cleaner than this. This does look like a little bit's going on, but don't worry if you see any error message or anything like that. This is going to remove a bunch of bloat um, that you won't need or use. Now, nothing's going to be broken in this Windows install. None of the core files have been modified. I've only added the files to the install to save time, guys. So at the end of the day, calculator will be gone. As an example, don't worry. You can go on the Windows store and you can reinstall it and it will work. Right, and everything in your Xbox Game Pass is going to work. I've kept it, I've kept it super simple and safe. All right, now you just press any key, continue. All right, so it wants us to press enter with this one, so press enter. Now press any key, press any key. Now it's asking to restart the PC, so let's restart the PC. Okay, guys, so the only way for me to automate stuff, there's some stuff I, I wasn't able to do. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to customize the start menu, but as you can see, there's a bunch of apps that are kind of pre-installed on here, ready to go to save time, which is super nice. And the shortcuts have been put in here. As you can see, a bunch of stuff is done. All the control panel settings are done. Okay, save you time. Done things like turn off sticky notes, sticky key notes, because everything in here is done, just to let you guys know. Super simple and easy. Same, with it, same thing in here in the immersive control panel. Everything is done. Let me just find something as an example. Locations turned off. Background apps will already be turned off, as you can see here. Everything is clean, simple, done, and automated. Now, some of you guys might want um, you know, like the file explorer fault, uh, icon on there. If that's the case, just press Windows key. Just right, right click and make a shortcut. So create a new shortcut. Just call this explorer, explorer.exe. Okay, and then just press enter. And then you can right click and pin this to the taskbar. No big deal. And you can just delete that one. That's a great way for you to get your file explorer back. So let's continue on with the optimizations. Not much else to do now. Go ahead. If you've got a two, 2000 series video card or under, Go ahead and run this. Okay, find your graphics card. Check, check, check MSI mode on, then press apply, and then exit out of that. Done. Sounds. You guys will want to customize your sounds, obviously, and sort them out. As you can see, a bunch of stuff is done here already. Same with enhanced point of precision. I could sit here for days telling you guys about everything that is done, but that's in another video. So if you guys are curious to check that out, you can go check that out, but I don't want to bore you here. And AMD settings, if you've got an AMD graphics card, go ahead and do your AMD settings. I wasn't able to find a way to port an export and get it to work properly. So go do your AMD settings. And if you've seen my AMD video where I show you guys how to lock the core, you can follow that through a few simple steps here, ready to go. Pretty damn straightforward. Now, let's go back and NVIDIA settings for you guys. You'll probably only need to go in here and change your resolution and refresh rate. That's probably all you'll need to do. All the other settings should be done for you. And there's a cleanup folder here to run. Now the cleanup folder is just going to open a bunch of shortcuts. So your two temp folders, go ahead and delete those. Okay, pretty straightforward. And the other temp folder, go ahead and delete everything in there. All right, and then there'll, there'll be little, um, up here for disk cleanup. I'll just move that out of the way. Go ahead and do a disk cleanup. So select everything in here to do a disk cleanup. Pretty straightforward. All right. Do the disk cleanup. Done then go ahead and do a system restore point. Pretty straightforward, okay? Now, once you've done that, that is all the optimizations done, which is super nice. If you want to go any further, go to the other folder. Um, this takes you back to AMD settings, guys. This takes, if you want to muck around with your CPU overclock or memory overclock, some nice tools here. If you want to do your graphics card overclock, I have a nice pre-applied config for MSI Afterburner for you guys. You'll appreciate it. So if you want MSI Afterburner to work properly, you'll have to open both of these. MSI Afterburner and Remover Tuner, so just open both of those and then close them. Now when you open MSI Afterburner, it'll open both. You could even just do it from the start menu, right? Because it's actually going to be in the start menu. Super clean and easy and simple. So open MSI Afterburner and you know you want to do a little bit of an overclock. It's heaven in here ready to go. Go ahead and run that. And this is a nice pre-apply config that I have ready to go for you guys. Now it will look a lot cleaner on an Intel system uh, at the moment. Uh, this is kind of out of order, but for most of you guys, unless you've got a 5950X with a stupid amount of cores, you might need to clean that up a little bit. Pretty straightforward. Now, 
There's occasionally check folder here, just occasionally it's not a bad idea to just check these things, auto runs to see if there's any other apps that you've installed later on and they might be running in the back home where they don't need to clean the temp files. Um, if some of you guys need to enable game bar, again, you can uh, click on that. That's mainly for the Windows 11 one, but I, I left it in here because you can manually turn that off in Windows, whereas with 11 you can't. And just checking if they've got any bloat, just the basic stuff. But guys, there's nothing else to do. Everything else is automated. Maybe just change your desktop wallpaper, customize your start menu, uh, customize your lock menu. That's all you really need to do. But guys, on AMD, um, you'll obviously have to manually do some settings in here. There's really not much to do for AMD. You just have to change your refresh rate, okay? That's pretty straightforward in here. All right, go ahead and change your refresh rate to, you know, your, your max refresh rate in here. Pretty straightforward, okay? Done. Um, and then just graphics tab, there's really not much you need to do in AMD. Unfortunately, like I said, I couldn't include the, um, the config because it just wouldn't work on other PCs. Um, but yeah, just go ahead and put that to performance, turn that to override application settings and off. The guys that are on in, in NVIDIA, this would already be done for you. And that's all I would really bother changing. In here. Everything else is done and automated. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. That's everything absolutely fast tracked and covered it very, very quickly. If you wanted to do anything else in Windows, you're really wasting your time. Spend the time on a CPU overclock, or overclocking your memory, or getting better hardware. Thank you very much, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Put a lot of time and effort into it. Go check me out on Twitter. Check me out on Twitch. Please hit that sub button. Okay, it'd mean a lot. Hit the notification button. If you guys don't mind, a little bit of a donation would be appreciated just to help with the Mega NZ cost. Guys, see you in the next one. Spent a lot of time on this. Enjoy. Bye.